welcome back to Homeschooling HQ. Thanks for sharing all your work on our social media. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got a lot to get through today, so let's get going. Now today is St. George's Day, and St. George is the patron saint of England, and I've got lots of great little activities to do around St. George's Day. Okay, so for the first activity, you're gonna need some red, red Play-Doh and a template of the St. George's flag, which I'll leave a link for the template down below. Now this is a great little activity for little hands. We're gonna knead and squeeze and squish. Don't forget to use all that language in there. And we're gonna try and make our own St. George's flag using our Play-Doh. We're gonna roll it, we're gonna squish it, we're gonna squash it. I'm gonna do our best to try and fill out that template and make our own St. George's flag. Now this is the flag of England. Get the children to squish and press and push and lots of great words in there. And we can make a fabulous Play-Doh flag. Now, next, you could actually go on and do that with a bit of bunting, the same thing, St. George's bunting, and do it with Play-Doh as well. Or, if you've got some red tissue paper, get your tissue paper out. Remember, ripping, great little skill that, ripping the paper, great for little hands. We're gonna get our glue. We need a bit of glue for this one. We're gonna put some glue in. We're gonna roll and scrunch this tissue paper up. And we're gonna make some great bunting to decorate our house for St. George's Day. Right, I'm nearly finished now. There we go, last piece bit's good. Right, last piece goes in. Ta da I could, if I wanted to, grab a bit of time, we've got some white tissue paper as well, do exactly the same, and fill up the other bits in the white. We fold it over, put a string, put it up, we've got a nice bit of bunting, and you can do several of them, and make a fantastic button to go on your wall. Now, any good tea party would need a placemat, and this is another idea we've already seen on one of my videos, a bit of weaving. We're gonna take a bit of white paper, Fold it in half. I've already started cutting some bits. Gonna put some strips out there. And I've done that. Open it up. And I've also will need for this some red strips of card, which I've already done. And again, I'm gonna get weaving in and out. Great for little hands, great for fine motor skills. Okay, and if it goes wrong, you can just start all over again. It makes no difference. And you can leave these out with different colored bits of paper in the house or on the counter or on the table and let the little ones have a good go at it. So I'm nearly finished. As I say, great to leave these out and about, let the children practice. You can practice with cards, you can practice with wool or string, anything like that. It's great for little hands to strengthen them. And there you go, my little placemat there. My St. George's placemat for my tea party. Right, there we go, put that to one side. Now I want some decorations to go on my table. I've got some uh, paint here. I've got some wooden pegs. I've got a, some bits of uh, scrap card, yellow, red, orange. My favorite, googly eyes, a bit of green paper. I need a bit of glue. My scissors, a paintbrush, I'm going to make a little peg dragon. First thing, I'm going to give the peg a good paint, lots of paint on the peg, get it nice and green. Might take a few coats. So I've given it a few coats, it probably will need a few coats, but then I've let it dry, and there's my peg. Ta-da! Right, now I need some green card to make some wings. So I'm just going to brief, uh, carefully draw it out sort of wing shape, right? Drawing that out, like so. Kept it as one big piece, cut it out, and open the dragon's mouth. And then it goes his wings. Now, next bit, my favorite bit, the googly eyes. Bit of glue on top, oops. I'm doing this first to give it time to dry. You need quite small googly eyes to go on. And those my googly eyes. You can give them some fierce nostrils. Come together already. Every good dragon needs a tail. 
So I'm going to use the last little bits of my green card. There we go. I'm just going to cut out a bit of glue. Tail. And then obviously we're going to need the fire coming out of its mouth. That's why I need my yellow and my red bits of card. I'm going to cut some fire shapes out now and then stick them together and put them in his mouth. Right, I've got my orange, my red and my yellow, bit of glue as always. Stick that on, a bit more glue. Stick that on, open his mouth. I'll put a bit of glue on the bottom here just to help it. Oh, fantastic. In it goes. And look at that for a fiery, scary St. George's dragon. Now there's lots of little writing activities you can do around St. George's Day. You can obviously just create a fact file about when St. George's Day is, who St. George was, who the dragon was, who this lady was here, okay? Um, we can do all that, put it on a piece of paper and display it at our tea party if you wanted. Or we can do lots of descriptive writing around this as well. Hence why I've got Bella here. And we're going to describe some of the characters that we see. Now St. George here, Bells, was was fending off this dragon because he was protecting this maiden okay what sort of words could we say, could we use to describe let's look at the maiden that he was, he was fighting for how could we describe her she's, a scary person. she's definitely she, she's definitely not scared to me so we can write those words down oops scared what else did you say pretty. she's pretty i'm gonna add that she's beautiful Be now, as I said, St. George was famous for fighting off this dragon. How could we describe this dragon? Brave Well, we could describe St. George as brave and handsome, couldn't we? Brave, handsome, that's a great word, isn't it? Handsome. But what about this dragon down here? How could we describe him? Scary, frightening. Frightening, that's a great word. Frightening, frightening. What was that other word we used before? Terrifying. Wow, that's a big word. That's an amazing word. Now we can carry on writing lots of amazing words to go. Go on then. Means a mean dragon. There's lots of more. There's a lot more writing activities you can go on. You can use these words to create um, complex sentences or just simple sentences using those words. They're absolutely fantastic to start off with. It's a good starting point for any writing activity. Guys, I hope you've had great fun creating all your crafts. Like we've had great fun creating ours. Have a fantastic St. George's Day. Don't forget to subscribe, post all your wonderful work on our social media, and we'll see you next time on Homeschooling HQ. Say bye. Bye. bye.